So I have two options for Charlene here. She really likes a tiara, and then she also really likes the veil. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of how to do both. So with this tiara, it's shaped really nice for the head shape, and it has a metal comb, which is very easy to work with. Plastic combs aren't as easy to work with, so when you're searching for a hair accessory that has a comb, go for the metal. So we could just place this right in and wiggle it in on the top, just looking at what is center and fixing any little top pieces that we need to. So that would be very beautiful for Tiara. Now I'll be showing you how to put in a veil. So this veil has a nice curved metal comb. Always look for a metal comb. And there's different ways you can put it in. So the options, putting it right on top, which is so pretty. And then she can have the veil spilling over the sides and onto her shoulders. She could have it above the bun, just a little bit less kind of, you know, on the head, a little less on the shoulders. She could even tuck it all the way on the bottom if she just wanted to have that kind of real sheer kind of tail version of the ride. Today, what we're gonna do is put it right on top of the bun. And then she can have this blusher over the front, which is gonna be gorgeous. So like I said, you're gonna flip it around that way. What I like to do is even kind of look at what is center. Make sure, you know, I'm not kind of wonky at all. Put it right in center, and then you just kind of wiggle and push. I will also take two bobby pins and I'm gonna put two bobby pins on either side of the comb. She is for sure not gonna be losing her veil. And there you have it. That's how you put in a veil for your wedding day. Next, I'm gonna be working on how to show you to put in some hair adornments. We're gonna put some flowers in. All right, so we have some really beautiful little flowers to work with, which works really good for a boho type style like this. I think it's nice to have some kind of coming down into the braid. You can decide if you like it by your face at all, if you want to see it from the front or from the side, or if you just want to see it more through the braid. So a lot of it is just like, where is this going to look pretty? And that's where I'm going to put it in. You can kind of play around with like, you know, some of the green poking through, maybe just the flowers are poking through. Great, so I've got those in there. I think it looks really beautiful from the side and from the front. And there you have it, guys. A really gorgeous, bohemian, very whimsical garden goddess fishtail braid. 